once you get a taste of winning, winning is the ultimate drug. Mm. All right. And the only way you get that high again is from winning again. And again. And again. You watch old Michael Jordan videos. I know we got a lot of young people in here. You watch them on YouTube. <laughs> After that first championship, he wasn't holding up one finger. He held up two. After the second championship, he held up three. Then when he came back, he held up four. We in football season, Tom Brady, you know what he always said when they ask him, what's my favorite championship ring? The next one. You're about to listen to the best of TSP. This is a collection of content from workshops and conferences that we've done over the years because we want to help you grow and expand your business. So do me a favor, lean in, pay attention, and listen now. When we think about toughness and mentality, um, you've worked with some of the people that would immediately come to mind, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. And you've been in intimate moments when they've won championships. I'm sure you've been there when they lost the championships yeah. at the same time. At those points, like, like a Kobe or a Michael, what are the conversations they're having in those moments? When they win, but not just when they win, also when they lose, like, what, what are the things that they're saying or they're thinking or they're expressing? You know what? It's funny. The conversation is exactly the same. What's next? Mm. What's next? Okay. Once you get a taste of winning, winning is the ultimate drug. Mm. All right. And the only way you get that high again is from winning again. And again, and again. You watch old Michael Jordan videos. I know we got a lot of young people in here. You watch them on YouTube. <laughs> After that first championship, he wasn't holding up one finger. He held up two. After the second championship, he held up three. Then when he came back, he held up four. We in football season, Tom Brady, you know what he always said when they ask him, what's my favorite championship ring? The next one. Mm. What's your favorite win? The next one. What's your favorite million? The next one. Mm -hmm. So the conversation is saying, even when they lose, even when they lose, And the best of the best, this is the one thing they have, all right? They have the shortest memories. They don't forget, but they have the shortest memories. Too many times when we lose, we overanalyze, we overthink. Figure out what you did wrong and move on. We spend so much time trying to overcome something when you should be spending more time with just moving on. They move on from the loss. They're like, all right, all right this ain't gonna happen again. Now remember, between Kobe's third and fourth championship, it was seven years. Mm. Seven. All right. It took MJ seven years to win his first championship. Right. And you know, I talk about a lot of this in, in, in the book, Winning. All right. <laughs> you know how everybody talks about, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint? Let me tell you something, folks. It's a marathon with a bunch of sprints in it. Mm. All right. It's a bunch of, it's a marathon with a bunch of sprints in it. You gotta know when to stop, you gotta know when to, when to speed up. How many times do people tell you this? Man, you need to stay in your lane. Man, I get to choose what lane I get to drive in. <laughs> I love it. And when I wanna drive in it. Why? How dare you tell me to stay in my lane? You don't know what my lane is? Well, 
And if you let people tell you that, you know what lane they're going to put you in? They're going to put you in the lane of the losing lane. Mm. So they have a clearer path to win it. I speak to everybody in this room the same way I speak to my athletes, to my top business performers, everything. Too many times people don't want to hear the truth. Because when you tell the truth, you don't have a whole lot of friends. And obviously, you know I don't have a whole lot of friends. <laughs> OK? I got a bunch of allies. I got a bunch of allies. But look at everybody in here. When you got in a relationship, a personal relationship with somebody, what's one of the top things you always ask that person? Be honest, right? You always say, be honest with me. Honesty, 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 until it's time to be honest. I have honest conversations with myself. I have honest conversations with my clients. Winning will never lie to you. I hear a lot of entrepreneurs talk about um, they want to develop that mamba mentality, like we talk about Kobe having. Mm -hmm. For that mamba mentality, was that something he had, was born with innate inside of him, or, or was it developed? You know what, when people say, they're born with it, or I'm not born with it. That's an excuse, folks. Mm. That's an excuse. Listen, when you were born, the doctor didn't look at you and put a stamp on you and say, this one's going to be relentless, this one's going to be a billionaire, this one's going to be this, this one's going to be that. Every individual in here, Every individual in here, there's something that happened in your life and how you handle that determines your personality. Determine your personality. Did you run from it? Did you face it? And that's why I said, if you don't have confidence, find the individual or the moment that took your confidence away and go get it back. Now, I tell you, mama mentality ain't for everybody because it's not a mentality, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. And with that lifestyle, it means sacrificing a lot. And it's having individuals around you that understand what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to go. And one of the key things to Mama mentality that we always used to discuss is, <laughs> you know how we're told, find somebody to, the opposite of you, you know, to balance you out, all right? Let me tell you something. You want to be successful in your personal relationship, you want to be successful in your business relationship, find somebody who's just as effed up as you are. <laughs> okay? Because that way they understand you. They understand the hours you put in. They understand your sacrifice. They understand why you didn't go to this event. They understand. They understand. They don't judge you. They, I get it. Because they're the same way. I hope you enjoyed today's show. We drop new episodes every single week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Enjoy the next episode.